When you read a, a word problem and you notice that there are two traits that are being tracked, that should automatically tell you that you need to use a dihybrid cross to make predictions of how those traits are going to be inherited by their offspring. As you read that problem, you need to pick out the key parts and make some notes of those key parts of the word problem. We're also going to want to figure out the genotype and the phenotype of the parents. So let's go ahead and work on this problem together. In guinea pigs, a long hair guinea pig is dominant over a short hair guinea pig. So long hair is dominant, so we'll go ahead and we'll highlight that or underline that. Long hair is big L, short hair is little L. And fur colors, color is the other trait that we're talking about. It is determined by incomplete dominance. That is important. So you have to know what incomplete dominance is. If you need to look back at the previous chapter, go ahead and do that. For hair color, black fur is dominant over white fur, which is recessive. However, a heterozygous genotype, big B, little b, results in gray fur. So let's go ahead and make some notes down here quickly. Our notes are going to be this. If you're a big L, big L, you're going to have long hair if you're a guinea pig. If you're a big L, little L, or heterozygous, you will also have long hair. If you're a homozygous recessive, little L, little L, you're going to have little L, little L, you're going to have short hair. With fur color, if you're a big B, big B, you are going to have black hair. If you are big B, little b, be careful here. If you're heterozygous, it's controlled by incomplete dominance, you're going to have gray fur. And if you are little b, little b, or homozygous recessive, you're going to have white fur if you're a guinea pig. Okay, so we know what each genotype is going to result in. Now we need to figure out what the parents' genotypes are. We see that we have a male guinea pig, and the male is heterozygous for hair length. Uh, that means it is going to be the male is going to be big L, little L. So big L, little L. And homozygous dominant for fur color. So homozygous dominant for fur color, big B, big B. The female, on the other hand, is homozygous dominant for hair length. So it's going to be big L, big L. And homozygous recessive for fur color, little b, little b. So we've read that word problem, picked out our key, key parts, um, and determined the genotypes of the parents. Now let's determine their phenotypes. If the male is big L, little l, it is going to have long fur. And if it is big B, big B, it is going to have black fur. If the female is big L, big L, it is going to have long fur. And if it is little b, little b, it is going to have white fur. As you can see, there are multiple steps that go into completing a problem like this. This is the first one, uh, going through, reading the problem, highlighting or underlining the key parts, and taking down some notes so that you recall and remember what those key parts are.